Hillary, as you know, slamming Southern California over the weekend, the first tropical storm to hit the area in more than 80 years. The state's latest snow survey confirms a blockbuster year for snow in the Sierra. If you live in California, these seemingly contradictory headlines have been a familiar sight. But what exactly is going on? California has always had a variable climate. In fact, when it comes to precipitation, California has the most variable climate in the entire U.S. However, climate change is making these flips from drought to deluge more intense. Dry periods are hotter and drier, and wet periods often dump more rain in a shorter period of time. So what does this mean for California? Our water supply system was designed for mid-20th century conditions, when temperatures were lower and precipitation, snowpack, and runoff more reliable. Over the last two decades, warming, an increasingly thirsty atmosphere, and losses in snowpack are stressing the system like never before. Increasingly severe droughts are not the only problem facing the state. During drought, it's easy to forget that California also experiences wet years and occasionally very large damaging floods. In fact, one in five Californians live in areas at risk of flooding. Climate projections show a steady increase in the intensity of atmospheric rivers or flood generating storms in the coming years. While this is great for water supply, it increases the risk of severe life-threatening floods. These changes are posing widespread challenges for our businesses, communities, and ecosystems, and often hit low-income communities the hardest. Managing for drought and flood simultaneously has to become part of California's DNA. This will involve significant investment in our flood control systems and putting as much water in the ground as we can during rainy periods. This past wet season alone, we recharged enough groundwater to supply 11 million homes for a year. This is a good start, but much more is needed. Innovation in managing floods and water storage together will be key to adapting to our increasingly volatile climate.